Shout out to VetTV.com. It's going down. We reinventing ourselves. Get some freestyles for you people. And it's going down. Holla at your boy. Uh. Y'all speezy. West Philly. Holla. Like, like state property, you know, Rock La Familia. Like, it, it was a very, uh, you know, kind of a powerful unit. Yeah. You know, when you see one, you see everyone else. Mm -hmm. At what point did did you guys really start to drift apart? You, you, you know, I think I think it's a uh, what year was it? Going 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 around around the time we was about to shoot state property too. Mm -hmm. That's when it was up because it was like okay, yeah, we state property, so we got the clothes line. You know what I'm saying? We got we got the music. We doing movies, so. Yeah, everybody like, especially with the give it to me thing. I'm like, you know, I'm running back. Yo, you know what happened, right? <laughs> you know, everybody like, oh, what? You know, hold up, what's the situation? So now everybody aware, like, oh, Speezy got that dirty. You know what I'm saying? So now everybody looking to the head of our, our group. So we're like, what's up, Mac? You know, we talking to him. So it's like everybody just starts saying, and then like, I don't know what was going on with the powers that be. You know what I'm saying? So. We couldn't. They weren't gonna really tell us all all of their details with them because it was a conflict of interest. Because we still was artists, but you could just see the tension, you know. Well, this one I knew when we start stop using baseline and start recording that quiet. It's like, come on, something ain't right, you know. That's that's our home base. Why we record somewhere else? And then we had a little drama amongst each other because we was on, trying to get on point with the business side of things, and we talking with Beans about certain things. And he ain't giving us no answers, so now people pissed off. You know what, what? We got clothes line. We got movies. We're making music. What's up? So now everybody on their business. So now you asking questions. Then you everybody bringing their lawyer to the table. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho! This is my management now. So now you know we woke and then people they. So now they got to regroup. You know what I'm saying? So when 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 the the, the, the J uh, the Jay Z Dane, Dane Dash split happened, um, it seemed like initially Beanie and them kind of went on the on Dame Dash's side. Not, you know, it wasn't even a choice. It wasn't, it wasn't a choice. So I think, I think from what I hear, for real, for real, it was a sheet with a, it names on it, and it was ripped in half. And one with the J, one with the Dame. That's who we was going with, really? just like that. So it wasn't no choice. You know what I'm saying? They, they took a sheet of the roster, of the, of the Rockefeller roster. Oh, you, you got a whole group. We all boys. You take a group and split the sheet, sheet in half, and, and hey, this was coming with me. This was going with you. So it wasn't, it wasn't an option for us. So I was like, cool, my contract was almost up. I was like, hell way, like I'm out. Like, fuck this shit. Like, you can split my life. Like, you can put my name on the sheet, rip it, and that's my life. Like, come on, man. Fuck that shit. That's why I was like, okay, I'm going independent in 07, and I'm free agent right now. I got my own team. That's why I say we can we can say, hey, yay or nay. Mm-mm. No more, no more. When, when you look at that, that, that situation, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you look at how powerful you guys were yeah as a unit serious you know very serious serious you guys were like like like, like bobby dash <coughs> yeah you know bobby he's bobby right, yeah he sits, sits, sits right on the hall mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take you by his office bobby's here yeah <coughs> wow he, he's actually right behind you bobby he's damn down. shout out to bobby dad Bo yeah. now bobby had headaches fucking with us i'm talking <laughs> about headaches <laughs> headaches so i got to go see bobby yeah. You know, but 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 you guys were dropping. We was relevant when yeah, we, when we was dropping. Relevant. Yeah, when we was dropping, they wanted to say, "Ho ho, what's going on?" And then we, was, you know, we was just like young pit bulls for the label. Like, man, who's rapping? Who? What? It was just like, okay, you coming at Jay Z, you got problems. You know what I'm saying? And we coming up from Philly, and we come to New York, and we raising hell. And this is what it is. And you know, uh, you kill us if you got to, but we all out. We riding. You know what I'm saying? That's what we was like. We was young, so just imagine, you know, a young guys on the block, the up and come. They try to get the name. They don't care at that point we was like okay and we getting checks like oh come on man we on tv we get checks anywhere we go we fly out they know our names it was like what cross who you know it, was, it just was what it was until people start saying hold up he just brought the bentley in the big house though you know what i'm saying it's like hold up yeah, so people we was learning and it was just crazy it was crazy but we had a ball you know what i'm saying i don't think i regret nothing i don't regret nothing the foundation laid and it's on and popping you know what i'm saying you still, were you close to, to Dame at the time? Dame, you know what? Dame was alright. You know, at the end of the day, I don't know what was going on with them, but it, with him, it was like more, we had more of a contact. You know what I'm saying? Dame was there with the artist. We in the studio, Dame in the studio. He, you say this is the record, he putting it out, you know? So even if he was doing something out of pocket, I, I couldn't really, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that vibe, but 
you know, you hear different stuff. But he was there, he was with the artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we was taking trips and we said, okay, we're going to St. Thomas, we're going to Kank, they was there, him and Biggs to come with us. We chilling, you know, so he was all right. Do you think that, that it, was, it was jealousy that, that ultimately broke everything apart? You, you know what it was? I think it really started, remember, remember, remember you heard about Cam was supposed to have been vice president over there? Right. Jay left for London for a month when he was working on, what was that? What was that album with Hovey, baby? What album was that? Uh, he's like, two. two. What was that? Blueprint 2? He's like, Hovey's home, the Globey phone. No, he was telling you that. Yeah. Dame had signed, he's supposed to be, Cam was supposed to have been vice president or something. Yeah. So people took that to heart, like, oh, oh. So now, now people are like, oh, how you vice president? He just come over here, hold on, I've been pitting and work. Jay heard about it, come home, you know. Cam lose the position. Cam from Harlem, Dame from Harlem. So they boys, you know, it's just like that kind of stuff. I think that kind of stuff internally start happening. So I don't know where it was jealousy. I think it was just like, oh, this is business, this is my paper, and what is you doing? You know, it was crazy. So 